Are your go high level emails constantly landing you in spam? You're putting in the work to build out those email campaigns, write great content, but your emails keep going here. They're not even being seen. Don't worry, I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to authenticate your email domain with SPF, not the kind that you put on for the sun, but DKIM and DMARC, what the heck are those acronyms? I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what those mean and how it's gonna help you improve your email deliverability and make sure that your emails get into the inbox or help you improve the, the chances. I can't guarantee this is really a marketer's dream to make sure that we get it into your inbox and get you to open it. So I'm going to show you some bonus tips, how to avoid spam trigger words and warm up your email domain. If it's a new domain that you just bought from GoDaddy or Namecheap, by the end of this video, stay, stick with me to the end. I'm going to show you some tools to make your email campaigns perform like a pro and give you a checklist on how you can do this. You may have to watch this video a few times to make sure that you set this up right in go high level so let's dive in first of all my name is Stacia kennedy if you are new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe and comment below if you learned a thing or two or if you need to get some more resources from me make sure to check out the description below again if you also haven't made the the move over to go high level make sure you go ahead and use my affiliate link below so totally disclaimer uh, I am an affiliate and I love Go High Level, but I love showing you things that you need to know to get started. So let's jump in. So what the heck, why do we need to have email authentication? What does that mean? Whenever an, uh, we, whenever you send an email, providers like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, they actually analyze your email and make sure it's safe or legitimate. Without proper authentication that is connected to where you bought the domain, if you don't have the SPF, DKIM, and DMARC, which is critical, it looks a little sussy, a little sussy, suspicious. It is suspicious. So if it's not, they'll send it through. If not, they put some blocks and protocols. So you wanna make sure that you have these things that are optional, but this is gonna show the email providers that you're not a spammer. So think of it as adding like a verification mark to your emails. And so the more emails you're able to get into the inbox, the more open open rates that they have, you have potential of having so that your domain looks legit and you'll have better results for your campaign. Hopefully they'll actually also take the action that you're seeing in those emails. And so this will result into actual money and results that you're looking for. So what is SPF? How do we set that up first? So first of all, SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework, SPF. So this tells the provider again, which servers are allowed to send emails on behalf of your domain. So stationkennedy.com, right? So my domain. So how do we set that up? We're actually gonna go over to GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever you bought the domain. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So here we're gonna to go to settings and go high level in your sub account. And we're gonna to go to email services. And what you're gonna do is it's gonna pop this up here. And we're going to, if you read this information here, it tells you exactly why we're doing this. And we're going to be able to create this dedicated sending domain to improve your email deliverability. So create a dedicated domain. You're going to use the domain that you already, like hopefully you've already set up like a GoDaddy, or I mean not GoDaddy, a Google Workspace email. So you're gonna see, use that same domain name, but we're going to create a subdomain. So what that means is you're going to just put LC as the words before your domain is subdomain. So we're gonna say LC, or you can say email or reply or something like that. I just, I like using the LC just, I know what it is, what it's for. It's not anything that anyone's going to really see unless someone looks very carefully at your emails. So I'm gonna use that and put in my domain name and then I'm gonna click add and verify. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, so you're going to get this popped up here and you can either add record manually or you can click continue. And if your account is, if you're logged into your GoDaddy or where I have Cloudflare, it's going to connect. If not, we're, it's going to pop back out to add manually. So it's going to give us some codes here in a minute. Okay, so it, it's pulling up my Cloudflare. So I'm going to click authorize domain and it's going to open up 
Cloudflare and I'm already logged in. So it's actually already populating the DNS records I need here. If I wasn't able to connect with Cloudflare, it's going to actually give me all of these codes that you're going to type into your GoDaddy or other, you're going to go to, you're going to go to the section where it says add a record and you're going to put txt and then put in the information domain key.lc and then a bunch of code here. So everywhere where it says type is where is the record type that you're going to pull down in the records. The name is the host name and then the content here. So you're just going to make a record for each one and follow these instructions if it doesn't automatically pull it in for you. Let me see actually if I can go to add a record if I shall go ahead and authorize and show you an example of what it would look like if I did if it automatically didn't sync. Okay, so first of all, SPF. Okay, great. So if SPF, this SPF that we just talked about, this is the value you're going to have, you know, it's going to give you the information you need. So you're going to put that SPF of V equals, and it's going to give you exactly what you need. So the record is TXT LC, and then you're going to grab that. So you go, this is, in, we're in high level, but you're going to go into your Cloudflare or GoDaddy and copy and paste this information into your Cloudflare or Namecheap. And right now it says not verified because I hadn't clicked on this button, but I'm going to make sure it's in my Cloudflare account and then click verify and all these should go green. So you're going to navigate to the DNS records. It's pretty much the same for a lot of different re domain registrars. So you're going to find the DNS records. You're going to click on add a new record and it's pretty much the same in a lot of places. It just looks a little different, but you click on this type box, you find TXT. Then you go in and put in the name and the content was the all that value that we had over here. So we're going to TXT, you're going to copy the domain part, and you're going to copy the values part and put that all in in this section, all the value here. So you're going to copy and paste the pick dot domain key LC and then all that domain, all that numbers over here and then just save it. So Go ahead and do that for all of these things here, the SPF, the DMARC is optional, but once all of this is added, you may have to actually click verify domain twice. And then it's the first time, like right now it's saying not verified and it says not verified again and you just have to do it and it, oh, now it's green. I'm going to email, I'm going to do it one more time, let it refresh and we should be all green lights. In Cloudflare, it has actually another section under email DMARC management, and you can enable that. It said enabled right before this, and then I'm just going to click add, and that should be good. All right, so now we are, I clicked on verify again. Now it's all verified. All the green boxes um, came up. We're good to go, and you don't have to do anything else right here. Now you should be able to send your emails from your domain and your DKIM, your, you can actually go to certain websites to get ver make sure that everything is ready to go, the MX toolbox. So now I'm, I'm back under email services, settings and email services. There's more information here that you can go through and assess your, make sure that you're forwarding emails to your main email. It should also be synced already if you have your integration synced so that your emails are synced in between here, back and forth, the replies and things like that. Email analytics, risk assessment, you can click on check check what these mean. Postmaster tools are pretty cool because uh, right here under the Postmaster tools, you're, you can actually connect your Google Postmaster, which is another ideal situation that you wanna do so that it'll give you some ideas of your bounce rates and things like that and things to avoid making sure that you're in compliance. So there's more information here to check on as a support guide. And there, there you go. But your email services are all set up. Okay, great tips to avoid spam trigger words. Okay. So now that your domain is authenticated, let's talk about the content of your email. So I can't determine what the content of of your emails are going to be, but even with the SPF and the DKIM and the DMARC that we set up, 
your emails can still land in spam. So that's why I was, when people ask me, can you guarantee that my emails are going to go through? No, I can't guarantee that unless I'm also your copywriter, right? I'm like, I don't want to be, yeah, I'm just not at Hawaii public school education guys. I don't have the best grammar. That's why I love ChatGPT. Anyways, you want to make sure, and this is something you can do, right? Go to ChatGPT.net and make sure that you're not using spammy words. And also you want to make sure that the formatting, you don't have so much things going on your email because that can cause a lot of suspicious um, activity. So number one, here's one of my one, one tip, avoid common trigger words like free, cash, urgent, finance, guaranteed, buy now, and things like that. So you want to make sure to avoid those types of tr trigger words. Also use professional conversational language. Also don't overuse all caps or excessive punctuation exclamation, right? So test your emails as well. There's some server, you can probably Google some mail testers to see if your content is going to get flagged or have some spam filters in there, right? So it's worth doing that, especially if you're emailing a lot, a ton of people. Okay. So always the focus, of course, in your emails, provide value um, in your content, make sure it's clean and professional. And next thing we're going to talk about is best practices of warming up your domain. So if your domain is new, your brand name just bought your domain, hasn't been used much for email, you'll also want to warm this up. There are some pro professionals out there that um, have some warming up um, systems and stuff like that. I have never used one, um, but I literally just, my cadence is send very little emails and also send them to people like maybe even past clients that we're going to open your emails and you want to start sending like 20 to 50 emails a day for the first week and then gradually increase 10 to 20 percent each week that's on my cadence you can go into go high levels help desk as well and there's actually a document that show tells you exactly what to do like as far as like a cadence of sending a few gradual warming up emails in until you get to a certain point so make sure to send emails to an engaged list not I would try to avoid sending it to cold email lists that uh, cost a lot of money and they're more likely to think that you're sussy and not open your emails as well. So focus on high quality content and make sure to try to get people to really reply rather than sending a bunch of links. Make sure to be able to try to get them to open that. that our goal is to open and get replies so that your domain is seen as verified and basically a good email domain sender, right? So use go high level to monitor that those numbers. They're going to tell you if you're sending way too much, they're going to block you. They're going to tell you where you're at. So if it, it looks good, you can keep scaling your email campaigns from there. All right. Now that you set up your SPF, DKIM and DMARC, your emails have much better chance of getting through the inbox. Plus with these tips, you'll ho hopefully you'll avoid the spam trigger words and warm up your domain. Like I said, send a little bit at a time, drip them, batch them. I'll probably have to do another video on batching your emails, how to send emails in a batch. You're setting yourself up for success if you follow these rules. And the way I set up here, I'm going to actually put together a document, a Google doc, or if you want access to that, a checklist on setting up your email services that I went over here, let me know in the comments below you Can join my community and get access to that. If you found this video helpful, give it a hit the subscribe button and comment below, of course, with any other questions that I missed, I'll do a new video. Thanks again. Make sure to check out the description for more resources and how we can work together. And we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.